Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. So I was dicking around on Wow. <laughs> I was just in the process of closing down. Good morning. <laughs> and uh, Aaron's doing his big old long, long day meeting thing. Not the start of a sprint, but like the big company where he's basically sitting in a seminar. He has a meeting like from nine to 12.30 and then everybody goes on break. And then he has a meeting from like one till four or five o'clock today. But I was listening and they're just like, oh good. And I can't do a really German accent this early. Actually, what time is it? Oh, I'm good. Anyways. Um, oh, so we're going to have someone talk from uh, Chicago this this morning. And I'm just like, Chicago, it's like fucking like two o'clock in the morning over there. I mean, Chicago's in central time, so it'd be like, well, it's nine here, so it'd be like 4 a.m. over, no, it'd be like, yeah, 4 a.m. over there. Ah, and then you get this, hello, good morning, everyone. It's a great day. I know we're all on mute, but maybe we can turn on our cameras today and give a good thumbs up and a wave and say, hello, big smiles, everyone. And that's when I ran out of the room. I was like, I can't handle this shit. This is, uh, no. <laughs> I am too old, I am too Pacific Northwest, and I am too gay for that. <laughs> that dude should be a kindergarten teacher. That, that's all I'm saying right now. Um, it's going to be like 20 today. I'm thinking of actually wearing shorts with leggings on the bike today. Um, because I have therapy at 2.30 and that means I don't have to do anywhere until like noon. I don't have to really leave here until like noon hourly. I know I just showed you guys a whole bunch of bound rotter and bound alarm yesterday. It's currently nine. By two o'clock, it's gonna be 18. Um, and then it's gonna roll across at 19 for most of the rest of the day. And it's gonna become sunnier as we go into the evening. I was gonna film last night for um, what it looked like half an hour before original curfew. I just spaced it. We were, we turned on the watch later rather than Snowpiercer um, because it was getting a little full um, but we might finish up. We're not going to finish up. We have like all of the episodes left. A new, the last, the last of season two just came out last night. So that's, I think why we paused a little bit. They're doing a photo shoot. The uh, skate park. Aaron's dad was asking about what was going on at the skate park the other day. And I'm like, I don't really know. I guess all them set up and then they left by the time I got here into the bedroom. But now it's like... The person right here in the yellow has been modeling and they've got like, if you go, somewhere in this area, there's like a big white square on the ground. There's a couple of them actually right there and right there. And they're holding them up and like diffusing the sun. Like they're doing photo shoots. Sorry, that was actually zoomed in. They're doing photo shoots. <laughs> um, and they don't actually really care that there's people skateboarding and stuff but they're on what I would call the right side. It would be stage right. <laughs> Love all my time in theater. Stage right is always as the director's looking at this thing. So they're stage right. In case those of you who do a lot of sports and watch this daily vlog or never were in theater, whenever they say stage right, they don't mean like you looking at the screen, go to stage right. The director is looking at you, so you need to go to stage right. <laughs> Stage right, not your right. But I'm on the stage. Oh yeah. I'm probably gonna do a bit more push-ups in here and whatnot, but I am not. That's their special guest that they were talking about earlier, and that means he's gonna be talking for like an hour, and I just can't handle that kind of on. Like, I would have dealt with it with Michael, who is gonna be like linebacker running back for us like last season, but he only had a very short contract, apparently with his job or something. And so he probably, he wouldn't have actually made it the rest of the season anyways. But he was one of those super on, super happy, super really into everything. And then 
people like me who are relatively Portland, Oregon hipsters are just like, oh my God, I can't understand this. What are you doing? Why are you on so much? Let's just go have tea. I will say, however, I do think the times today are like super humid though, because I should not be sweating this much. To be fair, it is almost 19 right now. Like, it's just re warm for what it is right now. It's freaking March 30th. <laughs> We're pushing 70 degrees. I'm here, Oastport. Got done talking to Malcolm on Instagram. He's like, I'm just, I just don't know what to say on comments. I was like, how about you answer some of the questions? <laughs> I really hate getting frustrated about comments and stuff, but I'm just like, nobody says anything. Like the only real person that I know that has an actual excuse to not commenting is Matt. Because he watches on his gaming system. He watches on his television. You can't comment on that. Hell, through the PlayStation, it's a pain in the butt for me to find the upvote button, you know? I've left things in the watch later so that I can go back and upvote them and comment after like the night after like on SciShow and stuff but to be fair there's a lot of people I mean watch my videos on mobile and when you're watching horizontally you can't really open up comments very well you have to flip your phone vertical and then you have to scroll down and it's and then they're right there at the top and you have to open it up and you have to type on a tiny little keyboard and it's like I don't know why I'm complaining I'm not getting comments. I should be happy that people are actually just viewing the videos on top of that one. Just as properly as America can teach you, be happy with what you get. The table scraps are a blessing. Hey, one of the weirder intersections I have to watch out for. <laughs> the 14 goes that way. I've been on that tram a number of times. Touch those arches, jump in the curb. New, new, new. Do, 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 do. Uh. Not narrating much. I'm trying to keep an eye on some of the old folk that are skipping every red light, but maintaining the same semi-slow speed. And it feels like the person running and the gangsters that are walking and they keep catching up to him because he has to stop and catch his breath. But they keep running ahead, but I go faster overall so I catch up with them. Yeah, these two. I am, sh I am, I am shaming these two right in front of me. Thank God you can't see their faces. Uh, the uh, the old city gate of uh, Newmark is straight up ahead. Oh. The street is heavy with the uh, coffee shop smell. Cannabis. <laughs> I'm just, I'm super early for therapy, so I'm riding around town. New marked. It's actually a metro stop, not too terribly far from here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> You go to the Newmark Metro stop, you'll literally come out right here. Ooh, more coffee shops. Ah, makes me want some. And now, up the Fietstrad. For those of you, I'm losing my brain. You can look at that hair. 20 kilometers on the bike. It was like 13, quite circuitous. I'm not, I've shared these to my Instagram. I only ever share them to my stories. And so they go to the Facebook also, but uh, there. that was home, the end point of therapy. That little 
dip. Figure that one out right there. That's actually where Oast port is and all that jazz. So it paused while I was in there, but because I moved significant distances in a short period of time, sometimes it activated a little bit. Uh, but I had like 55 minutes of pause. So, go shopping. And that's Butcher and I felt really, I felt a little bit better after the butcher because girls served me, uh, rather not saying that the guys are bad, but because <laughs> uh, there's the young girl and the young guy, and then there's Sill, which I haven't seen there for a little while, maybe he moved on somewhere, and then there's the two brothers, and I don't know actually the other guy's name, but <laughs> anyways, um, oh. You guys can see the rollerblades are right there. That has my, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna like, hey, this is an unboxing video. I'm not doing that. I'm so tired right now. Like that was to get to therapy and I got there 30 minutes early still after 13.0 uh, kilometers, 46 minutes, 334 calories. What I said some of a bitch about is the fact that I had so much in my hands, I forgot my orange juice in the other room. Aaron's on his wrap up meeting right now. And then it was 8.46, so eight and a half kilometers home. And I didn't really, <sighs> that is construction problems. <sighs> There's a whole street, Weissel Fracht, kinda. The, the whole street is just under construction. I'm not sure what's going on, but I had to like move all the way around stuff. And then I finally got down to an area and booked it straight home. Yes, there's a slightly different route if you guys poke in it. But again, construction. There's actually a whole corner that's under construction. So they, they've had the corner there closed off for bikes since I have had a bike here, so. Hopefully it'll be in soon. But if you caught that right, that's 13.07 and 8.46. So let's take that 0 0.07 and just slum it over into the other one. And just keep that at eight and a half and 13, 21 and a half kilometers today. With a one hour sit down break <laughs> for therapy. Her and I are gonna work on more in my brain um, about how to get stuff, I think right now. I'm so exhausted. I'm gonna put half an hour on the inline skates. Um, that has new shoes and a helmet in it, um, as you guys can see. Like I said, I'm losing track of stuff. <laughs> it is 22 degrees outside right now. Come on, oh, did I break it? For those of you, I know Matt Peterborg and a few other people are actually looking. I'm gonna show you on the map. What I recorded on the phone that you guys saw is right there. See where that M is? Not Devalen, but that M, that's a metro stop. That's that metro stop. That's, <laughs> that's new marked. If that tells you anything on my pathway, because I went up to Synthral and around Synthral and then back down to therapy. That's, that's what I did. <laughs> but yeah, so for those of you that are wondering, about my safety, thank you very much. I have a helmet now. I'm not gonna utilize my uh, football helmet. Is there a way to, oh, that loosens a little bit. Oh, that's that's better. And then that, and then that, and then that. I'll fix it, but yeah, I have a helmet now. And then, that's actually really cool. I'm so glad my football helmet doesn't have that, but that's really cool that this does. Um, you can... It tightens it, it's a cincher. Nice. So I have a helmet now, and I have elbow pads, and I have knee pads, and I have wrist pads. And, new shoes. Why well, put them in a shoe box? And then, my invoice. I think I need to take cardboard down here eventually. But I'm gonna put about half an hour in these uh, uh, skates. I'm gonna record what I do, but I'm gonna let my legs uh, for a little bit. 